so hi everyone today we would be looking at tensorflow recommenders so you must be knowing about recommendation system if you don't know about a recommendation uh, system a very small example like when you are uh, watching netflix or open the uh, netflix app there are several recommendations given to you by the netflix like you can watch this series uh, or any particular y series so those the system that recommends you those series or movies is known as a recommender system so coming to uh, how you are going to uh, use a recommender system in tensorflow we are first going to install the uh, tensorflow recommenders so this whole library is a modular present for installing and we are going to use one of the data set of tensorflow data sets that is the reason we are installing both of them you can simply install them by your pip install queue uh, tensorflow recommenders and same goes for tensorflow data sets and we are going to import them the numpy tensorflow tensorflow data sets recommenders and from type the basic dictionary and text library so now uh, coming to reading the data so uh, we are uh, using this tfds load so uh, if you don't know about you can simply go and search tfds and this is the tensorflow dataset website you can simply do a google search i would just provide the link to you in the uh, description section as well and you can go here and see the list of datasets that 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 are available for us and here if i go you can would definitely see movie lens dataset also and for recommenders there are i guess different datasets available uh, because see here you can see there these are the datasets which are available like this is one of the Critio uplift modeling data set that you can use for uh, setting a benchmark for uplifting model. Uh, this was the name of the paper and you can use this data set for a recommendation system for training or like stuff. And from here only I have got the movie lens one and if I type here you would see one. Yeah, here you go. So I would just click here movie lens and if you want to see the category it comes in it comes in the structured data set uh, one. so i would click movie lens and here you can see the whole data set in detail so this is nothing very complicated it is just you uh, you know the data set which contains ratings across all the movies uh, means a lot of movies uh, and or uh, there are diff many data sets internally available also like here you see i have used the 100k ratings they, then there is this 95 25m rating so it contains i guess 25 million movies and then comes 10k uh, this is the again 25m and it contains a bit small uh, size and coming to small ratings latest movies and this is the 100k so it contains i guess 100k rating ratings from 943 users on 1682 movies and you can just see the, all the details here and from here you can see the split type it is available for training and the uh, features that are available movie genres uh, movie id title and everything else so it is available in tensorflow 32 that is easy to go now we are using this 100k because it's small and uh, we don't have that much computation power to actually work on 225 million movies at a time so i would uh, take this for now and uh, tfds dot load we are uh, using this so what are we exactly doing here uh, we are you taking this rating data and then we are using features for all the available movies so these are the two available ones now we are all uh, means this was for ratings and this was for movies okay and we are splitting them for train obviously now we are selecting the basic features the movie title and the user id and from them from there we are going to use the lambda function to get the movie title okay so i would just simply run this and actually it's pre-run so it didn't at much time now we would build the vocabularies to convert the user ids and uh, movie titles into integers indices for embedding layers now uh, the uh, vocabulary ids are as following for user ids and movie uh, movie titles we are not doing anything we are just using the string lookup function and the mask token and we are just taking the user id from here okay so not not a big deal now we will define a, a tfrs model by inheriting one of the tfrs model and uh, dot model and implementing the compute loss function so this is the part the tfrs models dot model so base model for the tf uh, that the tensorflow recommendation systems models what you have to do you have to just define our whole model here and uh, a lot of models are available here so 
what we did we just initialized it and the uh, user model movie model and the uh, task model okay now uh, the self user uh, is just made sure to like when you create a whole class of your you know you need to define and re uh, pre call itself and uh, now compute loss function is go going to uh, means how the loss is going to get computed so we are using the user embeddings the movie embeddings and then we are just retaining the task itself from both of them so if you see here we have defined all the things here so things are good to go and now we will define both the two models and retrieval task so the user model is going to be taking the user id's vocabulary and it's going to use layers dot embedding and the user id the vocabulary and 64 the, the size same goes for movie titles are here things are very similar just we have replaced user ids with mover movie titles and now we will define our objectives the retrieval the metrics the factorized top k model we are using here here you can see a lot of them are available tfrs model uh for the, the use in this tutorial the deep, deep cross and these five are available we are using the more recommending movies the retrieval model here so this is basically used for uh, means ranking uh, means re re retrieval of the things so real world recommended system of two stages that retrieval stage is responsible for selecting initial set and the ranking stage output of the retrieval model so we are going good and we are using one of the metrics and now we are going to run this i'm not going to run it now or it's going means actually we can do it now because it's going to take a bit of time but yeah it did okay now we are defining the uh, model the evaluating it and compiling it so we are doing the movie and we uh, model we are defining here and putting all the things the user model movie model and task into the class that we defined here okay now we are going to compile it and uh, optimizer is adagrad you can actually use anyone here but the reason i used adagrad was because adagrad is actually good for recommended systems and we are going to define model dot fit ratings dot batch the epox and we are good to go now till this part things may not look that much uh, means i would say hard but from the next part that is index it gets a bit complicated because these these last things here what we are doing we are using the tf layer the recommendation systems layers dot factorize top k com uh, dot brute force i know this sounds a bit complicated i would not uh, make things complicated for you i would simply go here and you can direct we will directly go to the tensorflow website okay so what it does it is a brute force retrieval means as you can see uh, there are layers available in T tensorflow recommendation uh, system and out of which this was the i guess uh, deep uh, deep convolutional network and embedding and this is the factorized top k okay so if you want to see the overview uh, it's really easy it layers for retrieving the top k recommendations from factorized retrieving retrieval model okay now what this does is brute force retrieval means it, 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 it inherits from top k only and you can use actually scan and streaming top k any ones but brute force is a bit easy to use because what we are doing the index and the model dot user uh, model okay because we have already defined it so now we will get the index index of all the movies from this uh, index that we have defined here index dot index from data set and the all the movies batch that we have and we will just convert this to an array and the top three recommendations would be the following actually uh, so this is uh, uh, this is like this and actually what i would do i would just copy this paste it here and uh, things would be a bit easy here now suppose what if i do four here any guessing from your side so yeah top three recommendations would be uh, it's showing this but obviously i would just have to change this so things look good yeah so yeah so we are actually what are we doing we are taking creating the array and the uh, and that is already in the sorted order because we have used the top k means you can consider some, this something like you have already done the whole recommendation now you are putting this whole thing into a priority queue based on the ratings uh, that is how actually a recommendation system works sim uh, something similar a very uh, a, a very top notch approach uh, obviously things are down there are very complicated and now you are showing the top four recommendations for user 42 actually you can actually get it for anyone like let's say by now 39 and uh, let this be 39 
what do you think the result would give us so yeah so this is as following so this was pretty easy uh, but this was a very overview of the tensorflow recommender system and the easiest model that we could build what we did we defined two models we created the whole class for recommendation system we trained the bo uh, we trained both models we took the index of the top uh, k uh, the top k what, what can i say actually uh, the recommended movies and we just printed them so actually explaining tensorflow recommenders recommenders is a bit complicated you have to go and try this notebook on hand to get a very good overview of the whole system i would give you the link to this notebook as usual in the uh, description section and you can go there and just play with this notebook so thank you for watching the video thank you and have a nice day